I'll explain how to write calculation to get maximum number of tickets closed by an employee in a day. So in this data we have ticket ID assigned to and dissolved date. Our requirement is to get the maximum number of tickets closed by an employee in a day. So in this case, in this data we have uh, resolved date 15 February 2022 and the maximum tickets is closed by Abdul and number of tickets is 3. So our requirement is to get the output 3 for this against this date and 2 against 16. Okay, so let me create a new calculated field, go to the new sheet, right click create calculated field. I'm going to name the calculation of calculation as count of tickets. So we have the count function or count distinct function to count the records. So count D of ticket ID. Click OK. Let me drag resolve date to the rows. Right click choose exact date and then convert it to discrete. Now drag count of tickets calculation to the text. So we have the output for each date 6 because the number of total number of tickets closed uh, for each day is 6 you can see here so if you sum 3 4 6 so 2 into 3 6 so almost each day we have 6 tickets closed so our requirement is to get the maximum number resolved by per employee per day so in this case we need to fix the calculation at certain level so that's why we are going to use LOD calculation so we need to fix the calculation per employee that is assigned to colon let's find out the let's see the output of this calculation first So we have to we have to give the maximum as the aggregate function so that it picks the maximum as the requirement is to get the maximum we are providing maximum as the aggregate function okay if you see here we got the 10 the reason is we have fixed the calculation at assigned to so if you see the count of tickets resolved by each employee is 7 7 and 10 so as we have fixed the calculation at assigned to the maximum number of tickets closed is 10 so that's why we are getting the output 10 let me read the calculation so as our requirement is to get maximum tickets closed by an employee and in a day so we need to add another condition date so I'm going to add resolve date to fix the calculation at assign to and resolve date and then click ok now if you can see we have the output 15 the date 15 we have against 15th date we have output 3 so this is exactly what our requirement is so at the resolve date 15 we got the output 3 at 16 so the maximum is 2 in this case so we got the output 2 similarly we have 5 as the output for 18th so 5 is the output for 18th so our calculation is working fine i hope this calculation is helpful to you if you like this video please hit the like button and do subscribe to my channel Thank you for watching.